So you guys might notice a little something different about me. Um, my hair is so short. I decided right before my birthday that I wanted to cut it even shorter. So I got this cut and I'm loving it. It's just like a long bob with some layering in it and I am obsessed with it. But today I figured I wanted to do a little bit of a sit down and talk video, a little bit of an ex chicky, a little bit of an informative video. Yeah. So basically in this video I'm going to answer some questions that you guys uh, tweeted me with hashtag ex chicky on Twitter so it is an ex chicky but I'm also going to be informing you guys of some updates in my life that I think you guys should probably know. So if you guys enjoy the video then please give it a big thumbs up and stay subscribed to my channel. I upload every Tuesday and Friday at 6 p.m. East and follow my social media if you are not already. My username is beauty chicky on Twitter Instagram, you're not on Snapchat, and literally any social media you could ever find or go on. So that being said, I want to hop right into this video with some of these updates and then hop into the questions. So let's get started. So there's a couple different points I want to hit update wise before we hop into the questions. The first update actually goes along with one of the questions for X Chicky, which is, are you and Corbin still dating? If you guys don't know who Corbin is, he is my boyfriend. And the simple answer to this question is yes, me and Corbin are still dating. We are still happy as ever. We've been dating for over a year now. Our year was on May 22nd. I just wanted to address this because lately I've been going live on Instagram live and on you now and also this relates to just people tweeting me on Twitter and commenting on my Instagram pictures. But lately the only questions I've been getting are are you still dating Corbin? Are you and Corbin dating? Did you and Corbin break up? Are you and Corbin still together? Just over and over and over again. And over and over again I have to repeat myself and say yes me and Corbin are still dating. If we broke up I would have announced something about it. But as of right now we're still happily together. Now, I think the reason that people think we broke up is because we haven't posted with each other on social media in a while. So I think that's where everybody's coming from with, are you still dating Corbin? Because we haven't really posted that much on Instagram with each other or on any social media really, so yeah. And I know I'm gonna have people ask me, well, why don't you post as much with each other anymore? And the simple reason is mainly just because we're in a long distance relationship. So when we see each other, we want like that time to just focus on each other and focus on the relationship and going out and doing a bunch of things you know just keep it very intimate and not just focusing on documenting every aspect of our relationship of course we like to document some things we like to take pictures for you guys and all that stuff but you know when you're in a relationship that's so exposed to the media sometimes you just want your own like private time with your boyfriend or girlfriend so that's a simple reason to that I hope that cleared that up all right now the second thing I want to address actually has to do with college so the last time I talked to you guys was on my YouTube cleanse when I sat down and just kind of talked to you guys about a lot of things and in that video I mentioned that I wasn't sure what I was doing for college yet because I wasn't sure if I was gonna get accepted into FIT if I was not if I was gonna go to LIM if I was not you know I didn't really have my shit together so now I do have my shit together and actually if you guys watch my get ready with me with Adiel for BeautyCon then you might already know what I'm about to say but I would like to let you guys know that I will happily be attending FIT which is the Fashion Institute of Technology in Manhattan so you guys know that I was waitlisted at FIT and recently they moved me up to priority waitlist and then about two three weeks ago they have accepted me so now I am finally confirmed to be going there and I am super super excited if you guys don't know my major my major is advertising marketing communications and I decided to take up that major because I could go into a lot of different avenues with it, especially PR. I do want to go into the public relations industry, especially in cosmetics. Um, that's what I would like to end up in or in fashion, but cosmetics is kind of like the end goal. So yes, yeah, so I'll be going there for four years, getting my bachelor's there, and be happily living in Manhattan, which I promised you guys I was moving out there anyways, but now I'm super, super excited because not only am I moving out to Manhattan, but I'm moving out to study and get my education at a place that I've always wanted to. Of course, when I move out, I'm going to be doing a bunch of videos all about FIT, living in the city, and all that stuff. Now, speaking of moving into the city and going there for college, there is one last thing I want to address and that is if my uploading schedule is going to change when I go to college and the answer is yes it will so I was thinking about this a lot and I kind of made a decision as to what I want my schedule to be when I go to college so what I have decided on is instead of uploading Tuesdays and Fridays on this channel I'm only going to upload on Fridays I know you guys are getting one less video a week however to make up for that one day of the week that I won't be uploading I decided that I want to start doing daily vlogs when I move in in August. The daily vlogs will be going up on my vlog channel, which is Chicky Vlogs, so if you guys are not already subscribed, then definitely go and subscribe to my vlog channel. I always leave the link below, you know, you can go there, subscribe, 
yeah. I decided I wanted to start doing daily vlogs because you guys loved when I did my weekly vlogs on my channel and ever since I stopped them, you guys have been begging me to come back with vlogs. And I figured, you know what, I'm moving out to a new place. The city is such a big place and there's always things to do there. And I'm not saying that I'm going to be do something like extravagant every single day. But you know, it's the simple things like vlogging when I'm walking to Sephora or walking to get some tea. People just seem to be very intrigued by um, Manhattan, New York City life. So I figured that's something I kind of want to vlog and I want to bring you guys along with me as I go on my journey of moving out to the city and living there. So I think it would be really fun and I think you guys will really like the vlogs. However, that schedule is not going to start until about the middle of August because that's when I am moving in. So that is the updates that I'm hitting you guys with today and I probably took up like half of this video already. So I want to hop into the questions and answer some of your Q&A questions that you guys asked for X Chicky. Now I picked out a couple of these questions and I just noticed that some of these I already hit like in the beginning like where did you commit to college are you and Corbin still dating how will you balance college and YouTube so I already hit those so I'm just gonna continue on with the rest of the questions so the first question on here is what are your opinions on Chipotle and I have pretty mixed feelings on Chipotle. I have to really be in the mood to want Chipotle. The big complaint I have with them is sometimes they make their chicken way too chewy and it just tastes kind of weird and nasty. Plus the portion is pretty small. Well, it's not small, but like it's, it's decent size, but it fills you up. But you can get the same exact thing at Moe's and it'll be a lot fresher and it'll be a lot bigger for about the same price. So those are my opinions on Chipotle. I really have to be in the mood to get it, but honestly, I prefer Moe's. Right, the next question is what is your makeup necessity? And one of the makeup necessities I need is mascara in general, no matter which one it is. I like the Better Than Sex Mascara or the Thick and Fast by Soap and Glory. But I feel like even if I'm wearing a bare face, if I put on some mascara, I'll look a thousand times better. So yeah. The next question is are you ever not tired and uh, the answer is sometimes but a lot of the time I like to be lazy I'm a very lazy person so the next question is what is your favorite thing to do in the city and actually I want to make a whole separate video about this like when I move in and stuff because I feel like it would like it would bleh, I can't talk because I feel like it would make a lot more sense to make one while I'm living there rather than while I'm still living on Long Island I do have my favorites right now but maybe after my first semester I'll have a couple more however just to like mention like a couple on this I love going to the West Village um, super pretty area to walk around. If you guys go inside a Chelsea Market, you will have to try the cream line. The cream line is literally like Shake Shack on steroids. It's delicious. Also, Johnson 12th Street has really, really good Italian food and they have a vegan menu for those of you that are vegan. Also, City Kitchen in Times Square has really, really good ramen. It's actually inside of the Row Hotel or you could get to it from outside of the Row. But if you guys get a chance to have some really good ramen, then that is a place to go. It's like a bunch of little shops, but there's one in like the very back on the left and it serves ramen and it's so good. Literally everything I'm mentioning is food because New York City is just made of food. Like all the entertainment there is food. But the last thing I'll mention is Cat's Deli and Cat's Deli is more in downtown Manhattan and they are the oldest deli in New York City, I believe, and they have really, really good sandwiches there. Anyways, though, I'm gonna make a bigger and better list of all those things like later on in the year and make a whole video dedicated to it. So yeah. So the next question is, have you ever been suspended from school? And personally, I've never been suspended from school. However, I have gotten somebody suspended before. I actually didn't even mean to get them suspended. I didn't even know that I got them suspended until one of my friends told me that I did. Basically, I was walking in the hallway. Um, some kids from my school were making fun of my YouTube channel to me as I was walking. Um, and basically, I decided to stick up for myself and I said, can you guys please like shut it? And then after that, this guy and his little like posse of guys started following me around to my class and one guy specifically was screaming really nasty slurs towards me. Basically, this kid was yelling at me and I just kept walking, but a teacher heard him yelling in the hallway so she came out and told him to stop and then he said something really nasty to the teacher that I'm not going to say and because of that he got suspended um I was literally sitting in class I didn't even know that any of this happened but as I was leaving school my friend was like hey thought you should know that he got suspended for that and I was like oh well all right I guess so yeah that's the time I got somebody suspended <laughs> the next question is what is the worst state you have ever been on and actually uh, somebody asked me this question and I thought it was a super awesome time to plug one of my older videos I did a video about um, my worst state that I've ever been on it was pretty like just awkward and stuff it wasn't like terrible it was more awkward um, but if you guys want to check it out I'll link it below and that is actually all the questions for this ask chicky so hope you guys enjoyed my little updates at the beginning and that you enjoyed the questions 
questions at the end and yeah so that being said i want to move on to the end card and wrap up this video so hope you chickies enjoyed the video if you did give it a big thumbs up stay subscribed to my channel and follow me on my social media which is beauty chicky on twitter instagram you know and snapchat if you are not already if you guys would like to check out my merchandise line which p.s i'm making new merch soon and if you would like to check out my latest video it'll be linked on the screen as well as in the down bar below with that being said i'm going to go and i actually have a greek salad waiting for me upstairs so i'm gonna go and eat that with that being said ciao ciao chickies